Hello everybody, I'm Jiang Yunhan, come from Tongji University in China. Today I'm honored to report here, and the title of my report is Experimental Study and Numerical Analysis on Tensor Behavior of Blind Bots. First, I will introduce the background of my report. In steel structures, there are two common joint connection modes. The one is a world connection and another is board connection. Compared to the board connection, world connection is a time consuming and laborious job. Furthermore, structures is prone to occur in welds during earthquakes. For the board connections, ordinary high strength boards can be used in open section connection easily, but it cannot, cannot be used in closed section ones. Because it should be installed from both two sides of the joints, so a new type of board comes to solve this problem in steel structure construction, that is, blind boards, which can be installed only one side of the steel joints. My tutor's research team has performed many investigations on this project and proposed the blind board with five components. As we can see in this picture, the blind board consists of a screw, a steel washer, a rubber washer, a sleeve with narrow groove, and a cone. The, fig the figure below shows how the blind board works. After the blind board put through the bolt hole and the steel washer fixed, we make the screw rotate using electric wrench and then drive the cone rising and pull the stiff limbs apart so the two steel plates are in the joint are clamped and complete the board instruction. Throughout the process, workers only need to operate outside the joint. In order to fit for different cycles of steel plates, there are three different lengths length sleeves of each blind bolt, making high prices of the blind bolt. This is the first shortage of the blind bolt. The second shortage is that there are only two diameter specifications of the blind bolt, limiting application for the blind bolt, especially in thin wall structure. The research shows that under the same instruction torch, the pretension of blind bolts is much less than that of ordinary high strength bolts. So, if we want blind bolts to achieve the same level of, pre level of pretension of high strength bolts of the same grid, it is, it is necessary to increase instruction torch. But the relationship between instruction torch and pretension is not clear which is also an important reason to limit the usage of the blind bolts. Based on the above requirements, the following three tasks have been done. Firstly, proposing standard sleeve blind bolts and small diameter blind bolts. Second, testing ordinary standardized blind bolts, we call it non-standardized high strength blind bolts and the real blind bolts that is standardized sleeve high strength blind bolts in tension tests. Third, numerical analysis is carried out about the blind bolts of the tension tests. For ease of reading and writing, non-standardized high strength blind bolts is a brave rat, NSHSBB and another one is SSHSBB. For SSHSBB, the design idea is that the real blind bolt can be used in four cyclic steel plates with only one kind of groove sleeve and a larger sleeve without groove are needed. Meanwhile, a larger rubber washer is necessary. As for small specification, the diameter is determined to be 12 mm and all the components are redesigned. The connection plates should have enough cyclists to ensure board failure. So the tensor specimen consists of two specimens A and two specimens B, as we can see in this PowerPoint. Two kinds of equipment are used in, in the tensor tests. 
One is uh, the adjustable torch electric wrench, and the other is a universal testing machine. Instruction process and the test process of blind bolts are shown in this PowerPoint. Then, let me introduce the scheme of tensile ten, ten, tests. First, instruction the blind bolts using wrench with a definite value of torch, then loading until bolt rupture. According to the load displacement curves, the tensile capacity, tensile stiffness, and pretension can be gotten. Which can guide the which can guide the, the adjustment of the torch for subsequent tension tests. It is expect, ex, expected that blind bolt can achieve the apparent tension of high stress bolt in the same grid. Under tension load, the bolt shank broke into two segments and the blind bolt was pulled off from equipment. Then the load machine stopped. The broken bolt shank could be observed that the damage surface was close to a 45 degree slope, showing a failure mode of blind bolt under a combined action of tension and the torch. The reason can be analyzed that instruction torch of blind bolt was much larger than high stress bolt of the same grid. So the torch could be released completely in the bolt shank after instruction. The tensile stress of external load and the residential torsion stress lead to the fraction of the bolt shank. For other components of blind bolt, large plastic deformation was also observed in outer surface of the sleeve at the position where it contacts the steel plate. There were also scratches on the surface of the car, which indicated that there was extrusion and slight friction between the sleeve and the car head. These 12 figures show load displace displacement curves in tension tests of all the blind bolts with different torch. By analyzing this data, it can be found that the tension process of blind bolts can be divided into three stages. The first stage is bolt with pretension, and the end force is a pretension of the blind bolt. And the second stage is bolt without pretension and before yielding, so the end force is a yielding force. Then the third stage is bolt after yielding until bolt fracture. The whole dis low displacement curve can be fed into a travel line model and the tension stiffness of each stage can be gotten also. Based on this method, comp tension capacity, tension stiffness of blind bolts are gained and showed in this chart. Compared to high stress bolts, the tensile sparing capacity of blind bolts are as seen as the former ones because they have the same failure mode, that is, bolt rupture. Besides, the pretension in each test by different torch are also occurred in this chart. The torch required to reach the same pretension is nearly twice as much as that of high strength bolts. According to the re test results, recommended value of torch and pretension of blind bolts are proposed. It can be seen that the pretension of most blind bolts reaches the level of same level of high strength bolts of the same grid. After the test, numerical analysis is carried out to simulate the tens tensile behavior of blind bolts. Before failure element simulation, the material properties of each part of the blind bolt are also tested and input into the failure element model. As we can see in the picture, the failure mode of the blind bolt in FEM is the same as that in tests. By comparing the load displacement curves in the test and the failure element simulation, both NSHSBB and SSHSBB are in good agreement. 
At the same time, the tensor bearing capacity of two kinds of blind bolts in tests and fillet element simulation is also compared. The error between them is very small, which proves the correctness of the fillet element simulation. In all, we can get four conclusions. Firstly, the relationship between torch and the pretension of blind bolts is clarified. The torch of blind bolts required to reach the same pretension is nearly twice as much as that of high strength bolts. Secondly, both the types of blind bolts can reach the same pretension of high strength bolts, while the pretension of HSBB12 is only slightly smaller than that of high strength bolts. Thirdly, the tensile capacity and tensile stiffness of blind bolts are gained, and the tensile capacity of blind bolts are the same as those of high strength bolts. Fourthly, the failure element of simulation results are in good agreement with the test results. So that's all I want to share. Thanks for your attention. Thanks.